so Next cool. Door. We are so cool. <laughs> but also this building's cool, so there we go. I'm sorry, ma'am, we're closed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no entry. Yes. My name is Zaina Berkey and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, I'm young adult fiction author and right now, Tabitha and I... So close. <laughs> We're a little excited. Um, I decided as part of my Vlogoween Vlogtober to check out some abandoned places. Um, urban exploring and that kind of stuff is one of my favorite genre of YouTube videos. And so I was like, well, let's make a couple and uh, see what we have around us. And so we're currently going to an abandoned mental hospital. It's Northern State Mental Hospital. It's been closed for a really long time. I'll give you some more of the history as the video goes on. Um, but it's about half an hour a little more away from where we live and so we woke up this morning we drove down and now we're here and it's a lot closer than we thought we thought it was gonna be a five mile hike um, so who knows we might add a couple more stops on this trip but we're getting close to some of the buildings we'll check it out and we'll show you guys more and uh, yeah we're just out here exploring abandoned places and I'm so excited I feel like exploring with Josh right now if you guys don't know his channel check it out very cool um, but yeah let's go find some abandoned buildings and play in them I don't, I don't know how to properly words what we're about to do. Okay. We're gonna get some cool photos and it'll be great. There's like a big building behind us, but we decided we wanna do it second. Also, be bear aware. All right, so that's where we parked. This is Tabitha awkwardly ducking I out of shot. Get me. <laughs> and this is one of the buildings. So we're gonna walk up and get a little closer, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, there's two buildings. Supplies, three. Oh my gosh. It's like the nesting dolls of buildings. There's just more. <laughs> also just buildings. They're just, okay, we're done. All right, so obviously this building is pretty broken down. You can see kind of the roof all messed up and um, there's just all kinds of weird stuff. It, it doesn't look like a house. At first I was thinking it was a house, um, but I don't really know what this building was used for. We're well, gonna have to do some research after the fact, but I just noticed there's a shed over here too. We got like sinks behind me. It's just obviously very run down. Um, hasn't been used for much other than tagging in a long time. Well, and probably partying. There's a lot of broken bottles on the ground. Here's the shed. I don't know what this equipment is for but someone requests us to get lost with them, so that's a thing. There's a second floor. That's cool. But so unsafe to climb. <laughs> All right, so there's the upstairs, but then we got this in here, kind of a little patio area thing, and more equipment. So we have no idea what this building was used for. Obviously some kind of something, um, just with all the different equipment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I think we're having a pretty fun time. This is both of our first official abandoned place yeah. um, that was like we went and like tried to find. Um, so yeah, we're really loving it. So this is the first building. We have another building or two that we think we can get to. And then from there, we're, I mean, we haven't even done the big buildings no. yet. Like this is so I cool. Know, also, if you hear random, yeah, if you hear random people talking, there's people like Frisbee golfing. So, um, but yeah, we're going to take some photos and uh, then move on to the next building. And I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Look, am I a Visco girl yet? I have my scrunchie on my... Well, it's not a Sorry, what was that? I said, look, am I a Visco girl yet? I have my scrunchie on my water bottle, even though it's not a Hydro Flask. Yeah, you're not a real Visco girl without a Hydro Flask. Figure out your life, Tabitha. Everyone's disappointed in you. I gave you mine. Just walk off into the woods. Bye. That, but Tab just said I'm wearing flannel. I was gonna say, obviously, I'm kidding. She did, in fact, give me a hydro flash. She just didn't bring hers today. Oh, whoa, these buildings are cool. Are you stuck? Did you get prickled? No, I'm getting through. But like, whoa, you, 
careful. I'm zooming in so you're not in the photo because that's a really good shot. Also, that's great. <laughs> We are clearly explorers right now. We're doing so good. <laughs> All right, so that's the building we were just in, and this building is another one, and um, there's a lot of stuff inside of it. It's not very safe, so we're not gonna try to go in, but I did just find this little courtyard thing. Let me show you what I can see. This might be a really bad angle. Hold on, let's flip around. So again, where we were, the building we're in front of, and then this courtyard kind of area, and just all kinds of stuff. And we can probably walk around the edge of this brick wall to find some things and then there's another building over there so yeah whole lot and then just to let you guys know where we are here are mountains because pacific northwest washington state Woo! so it kind of looks like this might have been through the center of the structure and then it fell down taking the roof with it i don't know what this thing inside of it is um, obviously some kind of industrial thing, but uh, it don't work no more. Spoiler alert. I don't know. I think it's doing its job. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Whatever the business is, we give it five out of five stars on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> on Yelp. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Keep on trucking. Would recommend. <laughs> we don't know what you're making, but you're crushing it. Literally. Okay. So a lot of pricklies. We're going to figure this out. Okay. Also, here's the abandoned, or not the abandoned, here's the crushed bricks. building. There's bricks. I'm not wearing indestructible shoes. You should be going first. <laughs> I mean, I can. <laughs> this is my best friend. Yep. Whoa! Oh, mm. There's prickles. <laughs> There's prickles. I know. Okay. Yep. Like it's a spider unwelcomed in your home. Because what spiders should be welcomed in your home? None of them. None of them. I found the stick, by the way, guys. That's all me. Oh, there you go. Oh, I just there. powered through. I might have ripped my pants. Oh, dear. Okay, no, I'll good. attempt the same thing. I'm already failing. Oh, oh. All right, so this big open room doesn't seem to have any kind of um, in, like construction materials, any kind of industrial materials, um, but I can see a dip in the floor in this next room over. So we're gonna head over and uh, we'll see what that is. Oh, and some sinks. Oh man, this is like a whole workshop. This is really cool. Let me show you guys. This next room's a little creepy, not gonna lie. Reminds me of my garage or our shop that my dad had. I used to have bad dreams about it. Yeah, I don't wanna go into there. <laughs> Good from the window doorway. <laughs> All right, so we got some tracks here. You can see it was like a rolling door and the door is still sitting here. I like this design. So. This is really cool though. Lots of shelving space. Got the exposed brick walls. Like this place is really cool. Look at the heater that they used to have.
so clearly this barn was used for I don't know some kind of fencing or something with all this coil wow. and then we got the roof falling down over here but the slats look cool and someone wrote Macbeth so clearly Macbeth is at full. All right, we just got out of this barn and now that's the building we started in and also the mountains. <laughs> okay, so while we were in one of those buildings, I mentioned that it kind of looked like it might be a greenhouse or something just with the number of sinks and shelves and it was actually a cannery. So they used it to can food and um, just kind of do food processing here, probably a largely for the hospital, but then also in general. And so there's this placard about it that we just found that's sitting right here that has a lot of details. I took a photo, I'll put it in here. Uh, feel free to pause it if you wanna read all the details. Just, just take all this in, you guys. This is where we're exploring today. Just gorgeous. You're gonna take us, each one is gonna take us longer than the whole entire time we were over there. All right, so we have some buildings really far in the distance. There was probably a better path to them, but we didn't take it. So we're skipping these little buildings way, way out there. And instead, we're moving on to these big ones. And we're really excited. Oh, there's like bird feathers or bear fur. Cute. Um, let's keep walking. Oh my gosh, we f we saw like poop that was clearly not deer, or bear or uh, dog. I almost said or human. Um, wasn't that either. So yeah, that's where we are. But we're gonna go into those big huge ones and uh, continue exploring and taking another seven million photos and videos. It'll be great. <laughs> All right, here we go through the bushes. Up to the next part. These people are ruining everything. Everything I tell you. Oh, look a dog. Just Tabitha and the stay out sign. Yes. So there are a lot of other people around here, so we're gonna do our best to not get them in all of our shots. Um, but it's a pretty cool area. This was like the dairy barn that was used for the hospital. I should explain to you, the hospital is being used currently by other things. So um, I don't know if we'll be able to see it from where we're at, but we won't be able to like go to it. They still use it for stuff, just not as like a mental institution. So um, yeah, pretty cool. We got all the different barn buildings and I will, I'll show you. Well, I guess I'll go this way, show you that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of families it's a good photo, good photo spot, photo shoot place, obviously. Um, so everyone's here. <laughs> There's the cow area, and here's more areas. I don't know what farms are made of. Oh, there's a human. And there's a Tabitha. <laughs> and then more buildings. And then in here, let's go check this out. <gasps> oh, Tabitha, come see this. It's so cool, I have to whisper. No, come see this. Tabitha, get in here. Just come in. I told you. Whoa. Right? Oh. This might be my favorite part so far. Look at it, look, just look at the ceilings and like the windows and the things and all the stuff. I feel like I have to whisper in here. Probably, it's really echoey, is it? A little, A little echoey. Echo. Yeah, not that exciting, but still, holy crap, it's so cool.
So, um, someone broke the floor. <laughs> oh, God. Step straight through the floor. But her feet are fine because yeah. of her indestructible shoes. Yeah. They, they might need to be changed to destructive shoes. <laughs> That scared me so bad. Oh my gosh, she almost walked off the plank and instead stepped backwards to save herself, but yet fell through the floor. <laughs> that scared me like so bad. All right, oh, attempt to walk near oh, me now, no though. No stress, though. You right? can do it. Did it. Magic. Oh, look at this. That's so cool. All right, so we've explored that building there, and then this one here, and the big one there. We're gonna go into this one in a minute, but first we're gonna pop in here. From what I can tell, it looks like there's animal troughs, but we'll take a look. And sorry if some of the shots are kind of weird, they give like different angles. Um, we're trying to avoid filming other people as much as possible. Whether or not it's working, well, we'll find out in editing. Good luck, future self, whoa. a lot of different construction items or industrial items this one is definitely my favorite it just looks really cool looks like some kind of furnace device and then you have kind of where you put the heating source there so I'm guessing from all of these tubes that maybe it sends the, the heat up there's other tubes up in the air I'm not really sure I definitely want to know more about the specifics of this building um, it is not to burn cows don't trust Tabitha or what you may have seen on Instagram she's clearly getting really caught up in all of this she's abandoned stuff right <laughs> I don't even have words for her anymore. I don't even have words. Now to give you a little bit more history about the hospital, I wanted to quickly pop in and just give you guys some fun facts. Now, Northern State Mental Hospital was opened in 1912. This was because the Western State Hospital was kind of under criticism for being overpopulated. So this was built by the Olmsted brothers who actually designed New York City's Central Park. Now they wanted every single thing they might need to be in one place. So not only did it have a hospital, it had its own sewer system, a lumber mill, a quarry, canning facilities, a library, and 700 acres of farm, just to name a couple of things. There was also a cemetery, so uh, pretty insane to think about. Well, in the 1950s, as many as 2,700 patients lived there, which was definitely full capacity, but still there were more patients to be had. Eventually though, in the 1970s, when the world kind of changed its views on mental hospital and mental health, the Northern states started to kind of lose their ground and they closed their doors in 1976. Nowadays, most of the buildings are being used for job cores and things of that nature, but the ones that we visited are part of a local state park that encourages people to come by and visit. So we didn't get to see any of the actual hospital itself, but all of the grounds were, would have been used by the hospital staff and by staff doing various things that were all in all supporting what was going on at the hospital. All right, so there we have it. We have explored and adventured through the entire Northern State Hospital. Um, obviously the hospital building itself is not something you can go see since it's currently used and stuff, uh, but it was really fun. We got to go through the whole barn area. We got to go through these outbuildings where they did the food processing and it was really cool. Lots of people we had to contend with, but we made the day happen. And uh, next we got to do more adventures. Yes. yes. 
If you guys have enjoyed this adventuring video and like to see more, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then comment below if this is something you're interested in. Um, I am interested, so I will probably do a few more, but if it's something that you guys also really enjoy, I'll probably try to do it even more. Um, also, there's a human and a unicorn pajamas ahead. Cool, that's a thing that's happening. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed it in the comments below. And then finally, make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you find out as soon as new videos are posted. I do have a few more ghost town visits that I'm planning myself, so I figured I might as well film them so stay tuned for all of those plus you know the cheer season starting for those of you that are here for cheer so get ready for all that fun um for now though i hope you guys have enjoyed this trip thanks to tabitha for joining me for the fun she will hopefully be in more of the adventure videos so stay tuned uh for now though thank you all so so much for watching and i'll see you all soon